thank you to the organisers for allowing me to speak about the importance of pathological evaluation of TME specimens and how we can use this information to improve the quality of rectal cancer resection. I have no disclosures to make. We all hopefully agree with the concept that good quality pathological quality control can save patient lives and improve the management of rectal cancer. We routinely feed back to radiologists about the accuracy of their preoperative staging and predicted completeness of excision. We also feed back to oncologists about the effectiveness of any neoadjuvant therapy used and whether there's a need for further adjuvant therapy, for example in stage 3 disease or patients with high risk stage 2. More recently we've also played an important role in the identification of KRAS mutations in predicting response to anti-EGFR antibodies. But one of the most important roles is feeding back to surgeons. Traditionally this has been routine prognostic information such as staging and grading. Over the last 20 years we have fed back about the completeness of excision around the circumferential margin and more recently we've identified a grading system for the plane of surgery in the mesorectum. And this means that we interact with all members of the multidisciplinary team on a weekly basis where we review the radiology, the macroscopic specimen photographs and cross-sectional slices and the histology. So in the 1980s Phil Quirk and colleagues in Leeds described the importance of tumour clearance at the circumferential resection margin showing that incomplete tumour removal led to a high rate of local recurrence. This coincided with the time that Bill Heald and colleagues described the concept of total mesorectal excision for adequately removing rectal cancers. And in pathology departments around the world we started to see less and less of the old style disrupted mesorectal excisions and more and more of the nice total mesorectal excisions as described by Bill Heald. So this allowed us to develop a theory based on the plane of surgery that removing the tumour using an appropriate anatomical plane and avoiding tumour involvement of the resection margins by removing appropriate lymph nodal and venous drainage systems and most importantly removing the whole area intact with no perforations or lacerations should be associated with improved outcomes for patients. And this makes complete oncological sense. Here you can see a complete section of the mesorectum and you can see the mesorectal fascia on the outside. Within the mesorectum you can see the blood vessels and the lymph nodes through which tumours may disseminate.